What's going on YouTube, Geothan right here. So in today's video, we have a brand new GIT enabler for iOS 17.4 and newer. And this one works on all devices. So as you probably know, Apple somehow patched JIT enablers in later versions, but stick GIT enables it back again on iOS 17.4 plus. They found a brand new method apparently, and it was released, it's completely open source over here. And as you can see, it says it's an on-device GIT enabler for iOS versions, iOS 17.4 and newer, excluding iOS 18.4 beta 1. Now, as you can see, this is an application. So you install it on your device, you enable JIT, it shows the installed applications, and you can choose which application you want to give JIT to. For those of you who are unaware, JIT is just-in-time compilation, which allows emulators and tools like VirtualBox and stuff like that, you know, virtual machines and whatever, to work much, much better on the device. You can actually run proper operating systems in virtualization because of JIT on iOS. Without it, you wouldn't be able to do so. It's also useful for emulation on retro gaming and stuff like that. So a lot of tools like UTM, for example, would actually use this. So for those of you who need this, it's now available once again on iOS 17.4 and newer, but not on 18.4 beta 1. And that's thanks to Stick GIT that was released. The release is available over here, version 1.1 at the moment. And yes, this also enables you to run applications that are not installed, because since you're not installing them, they don't require signing and stuff like that. So you're not using one of your three signing spots for your free developer account. This is actually pretty neat. So to recap, with this, you can have emulators, you can have virtualization, so like virtual machines, on your iOS device and you can also run iOS apps without installing them and without signing them directly on the device. That's actually great. There are other GIT methods as well and that would be SiteJIT server which also works great and it also supports all devices but this one requires a computer because you need to run a server on the computer as you can see from the guide available here on iDeviceCentral.com. This is still a viable method. It still works great. However, this over here is an application that runs directly on your device and it only requires this VPN over here for the device to connect to itself and that's essentially it. You don't need a computer, you don't need anything. So pretty great. Speaking of great, the folks over at AKSEC have a great offensive iOS internals course. So if you want to get started with iOS security research or if you want to build your own jailbreak one day, you can definitely check out their course because it goes in depth into the ARM64 architecture, the iOS kernel and its security mitigations, you know, reverse engineering on iOS and sandboxing and stuff like that. Definitely a great course to get started with if you want to become a jailbreak developer or tweak developer or if you want to do iOS security research. So yeah, definitely check that one out and definitely check out Stick Jet. You can also use it with Live Container by the way, but you need to get this build over here because this one is compatible with Live Container, which allows you to run iOS apps without actually installing them. It's exactly what I mentioned earlier. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I'm Gia Snow. Peace out.